Hello, welcome to the Broadband Academy. I'm Paul Costner, and today we're going to talk about the fiber optic central office components and what's all involved when dealing with a fiber optic uh, network. The first slide show that you're seeing here is a fiber optic uh, network infrastructure map. And just to show some highlights, here's an exchange that this company, this broadband company has, and all the different fiber links um, that are involved in their system and how many fibers they're using from point A to point B, uh, how many fibers are available, how many are being used, and how the traffic is actually um, transmitted. That's just one aspect of this broadband company's uh, fiber network. The next slide here, um, inside the central office, you have an enclosure. That's what this is right here. This enclosure um, brings in the outside plant fiber optic cables, okay, and then they're spliced to the inside plant fiber optic cables, the yellow ones. So the black cables are underground, um, probably in conduit, or they could be direct buried. They have a polyethylene jacket on them to uh, keep them um, weather resistant and uh, um, keep the rodents from chewing on them. Um, they're brought in and then they are spliced, okay, together with their inside plant, these uh, single fiber cables. This is actually a ribbon fiber and this is your cable tray right there. Here's a little close up of the clay cable tray uh, splice, splices. Um, here are the, how they're tagged. And once again, here's the conduit that's coming in from outside. Okay, and then they're brought up and the actual um, polyethylene jacket is stripped back, gets down to the buffer tubes, and then they are spliced together. Here's what a splice tray looks like. Um, I don't know if you can tell here, but you can see the, these fiber cable is actually a ribbon fiber. So ribbon fibers come in uh, either six or 12 ribbons, more commonly 12. And this is the splice tray. So what we have is here's your buffer tube and we have plenty of loop, okay, in case there's any type of uh, breakage that you could come back and come and fix. So this is one where it's coming in from the outside and this is where it's getting connected from the inside uh, fiber. And these are the protective sleeves. So once the fiber, the 12 fibers um, in the mass fusion splicer is spliced, they are then shrink wrapped. So they're heated, so they give its protection and then position accordingly in the splice tray. Here is our inside plant fiber. Um, this is yellow. Yellow uh, is significant for single mode fiber, and that's what type of fiber these are. These are all tagged. Um, so the reason why they're tagged, I'll show you later in this slideshow um, where they actually go to their vertical block uh, and then are patched over to the, o the OLT equipment. Here is where those fibers end up. They're terminated in this patch panel, kind of vertical block patch panel. And you can see here, these are actual the individual jumpers, which are then jumpered over to the OLT or optical line test. Okay, these are all connectorized. So there's a little coupler that'll meet so that light actually is met in the patch panel. One thing I want to just show on here is this device right here. Okay, that's a connector cleaning device. So whenever these connectors are brought out and examined either with a microscope to see if they're um, clean um, or if they are put back in any type of test gear, everything is clean, clean, clean with fiber optic. And this is a clean top uh, cleaner. You click it and you do a figure eight on the end face, figure eight on the end face, 
and then that's clean. And then that releases and you have a new clean strip. This display or slide is of ONTs, different types of ONT optical network terminals. These are set up in different ways. These are outside enclosures, so you could put outside your house. I will have a video later on um, showcasing the ONT and how it's set up and how it's terminated. These are usually for residences, and you'll see another slide here that will see, shows what it looks like inside. This unit here and here are for multi-unit dwellings, uh, apartment buildings, um, possibly uh, trailer court homes, and that's how these are set up. You'll see inside that there's multiple um, fiber links inside those. And these are some ONTs that you would find inside a um, residence. Here's the picture of the inside ONT. Um, these are for residents. It depends on, on how um, big and how much fiber they're, they're needing. Um, usually have one fiber link. That's this yellow fiber link coming in. And what that does, it distributes um, a RJ45 or a network interface that would go to a router, a switch, or a set-top box. One thing down here, this is a, a UPS, Universal Power Supply, and that provides any type of backup system for um, the customer. So if the power goes out, you'd have approximately eight hours because you need some type of backup service to provide dial tone um, to your telephone sets. Here's a multi-unit ONT. Um, you can see all these are all the LAN connections. And these are actually your telephone connections, provide telephone service, pot service. Here's your fiber link coming in. Here's another fiber link. So this one has two. Here's another ONT with a uh, UPS system right inside of it. Um, you have your fiber link being terminated there. This is your backup power. And these are are your telephone lines here. You can see actually the phone numbers that this one's actually providing uh, telephone service. And these would be your wide area network. So this would be going to your router and then to your multiple uh, wireless router or wired. Um, this is just a bank of different types of UPS, universal power uh, supplies um, to keep backup service for your ONTs. This is just a test wall to show you the different types that are, uh, are out there. Here are the IPTV set-top boxes. So coming out of your ONT, you could go to a router or a switch, and then that would actually bring you to a set-top box. You can you see this is what the back looks like. That's your input. And then you can have an HDMI cable coming out going to your TV or um, an RF connector um, going to your uh, television as well. These are central office backup, uh, um, battery backup. So if your power goes out, usually central offices, or they do, all have some type of uh, backup generator, but you also have a central office battery backup as well. This is your ground bus bar. We talk about any type of electrical surges, want to prevent that. So you're going to have a ground bus with multiple uh, grounding systems or grounding grids. And these are all grounding cables going to um, certain areas in the building. And then they'd be also going to um, grounding rods throughout their um, facility.